Ready? We're gonna go over all 88 algorithms in less than 15 minutes. So, one of the things that is very intimidating about this instrument is how many algorithms there are in the FM engine. And 88 of them to be exact. And what we'd like to do to get to know these is take a look at all of them. So one of the tips is once you find a sound that you kind of have started to dial in. So here's one I've been working on for a pad that a pad sound that I'm creating. And it goes in conjunction with the other um, the five tips video that I did where you can dial in the, the levels of your operators with the sliders. And what we're going to do right now is I kind of have a sound that I'm liking. I have my sliders all set up for element operator 1 through 4 and now I can always switch to 5 through 8 to adjust the levels of those. What we're going to do is go to your algorithm page. It's in part settings, algorithm. Highlight the algorithm number. We got number one here. And this is carrier only. They're all in a line. Now we're going to go through and, and move the mod wheel or the, um, the adjust wheel and go through and see what kind of changes occur as we go through all the algorithms. Now this feedback is very important. It will provide different amounts of harmonics depending on the algorithm you use. You're going to find that some of these have no effect at all. As you can see, there's no, from the settings that I have with the operators that, are have, that I have lined up right now, there's no um, effect of the feedback on number two. Number one was different. Now the other thing is, when you're doing this, you don't want to have your um, your levels too high. Some of the algorithms, when you go through them, because of the way the operators have been set up, they could be very, very loud. So just to get, be forewarned when you're doing this kind of experimentation. So we just went to two. Let's try three. have one of the operators resonance for the third operator resonance has been assigned I'll do it right now control assigned to this knob right here so it's interesting to note that when we're going through these algorithms that uh, some of the effects that happen in some of them but not in others because of the way that they're stacked up against each other. So, just to point that out, I might be playing with that first knob. Here's seven. This one has quite an effect. I think I said that was the third operator. So you can see it on algorithm number seven, how one has a feedback loop. That's that little curly line that goes through itself and it comes back on itself. That's feeding the sound from one back on itself. So that one has a feedback loop. And as you can tell, it feeds right into three. And three is where I have this, the resonance of that wave is hooked up to this knob. Let's try the feedback. Just experimenting with how these affect that one sound that I dialed in. This one seems interesting. But we're going to go through. Let's go through. Are we going to do eight? Here's eight. Here we'll 
have a different effect depending on how you've set up your operators. There's nine, ten. So three, look at three way up on top there because of where that's positioned. Playing with that, that wave is not having much effect. Let's see if the feedback changes. As you can see, some of these don't have much change, and you would have to go through and play with your operators if you wanted to use that particular one. 13, here's 14, 15. And the other thing, the other variable you can play with here is, is your, your levels, since these are set up. Operator levels are all set up on these sliders. design the kind of sound you're looking for by doing some, some of this experimentation with these algorithms. Don't be afraid of these things. We're only on 16. We have a lot, a lot more to go. <laughs> 18, 19, 1, we're just playing with your story too. Wow, that has a big You can see 24 is away. 3, 5, 6, 7, and 4, the little cluster on top all feeds into 8. So it's six, as you can see, I'm playing on, on 28 here. Six has the feedback loop, and that's that line that feeds back into itself. And what that means is that one operator, when the sound comes out, it goes back through itself again. So that one has a lot of effect. And I went over here to the sixth slider, you can see. Provides the most change. Let's go through some more. 29. 30. 31. different textures that are just being created from that one sound we started with.
and so you'll find some of the sounds are better for single notes and some are going to be better for chords so I'm just playing a variety of different sounds as I go through these to be thorough you could say Here's a very interesting one, 37. And when we get into this area of the algorithm, you'll see three all by itself, feeding into itself, and then coming through this stack. And um, three was the one that had that the resonance and the, the different curve. It wasn't a sine curve. And then everything underneath it. having different effects as you play with the other levels. You can also see on this one, look how one and two are on the bottom. And their effects are very subtle compared to, you have to turn them all the way up to max. Whereas on the other side, through the, this stack four and five, and eight, much bigger of an effect. And eight seems to have the most, because eight's on the bottom of that stack, so it's, you really wouldn't want to put this up to max because it blow out your speakers. So let's keep on going. We got 38. And as you can see, three just popped in, and then three's gonna make its way down. See that? As you go through this little section here, it plays with the three going around. There's 40. And some of these, are, you're gonna get into some noise, and that's why I was kind of warning you about your speakers. Um, and that's why it's good to have your levels all set up on these sliders because some of them, as you go through the algorithms, you will find that because of the way these levels are set up, you're going to find uh, you're getting into some noise on some of them. start to see how you could emulate other instruments. So this kind of has a, to me, to my ear, kind of a electric piano. sounds like an organ. track of which ones you like as you're making your way through the list and then come back and play with those.
It's an interesting one. Another one that sounds kind of like an organ. Pipe organ. Go. Let's go through 78, 79, 80, 81. Nice little percussive sound on this one. enjoyed this little journey through the all the 88 algorithms on the Modi X and hopefully you'll uh, be inspired to do some experimentation of your own best wishes <laughs> <laughs>